Hi, I'm Tim Tyler and this is a video on the topic of how memetics is a powerful and dangerous idea and I'm making it in order to promote my memetics book, which is out now. Some have pointed out that evolution is Darwin's dangerous idea and in a 1995 book on the topic with the same title, Daniel Dennett said, If I were to give an award for the best idea anyone has ever had, I'd give it to Darwin ahead of Newton and Einstein and everyone else. In a single stroke, the idea of evolution by natural selection unifies the realm of life, meaning and purpose with the realm of space and time, cause and effect, mechanism and physical law. But it is not just a wonderful and scientific idea, it's a dangerous idea. If evolution was Darwin's dangerous idea, then memetics is Dawkins' dangerous idea. It's a subset of Darwin's idea, but it is one part of it which hits very close to home, and if you imagine the human ego is resistant to Darwinism, then memetics is one of the areas it objects to most, since it's so close to home. Darwin's idea faced enormous resistance in its time. It took a very long time for it to be digested and accepted. Social science is still busy absorbing the implications of the fact that the human mind evolved. However, the idea that human culture evolves has been widely rejected for over a hundred years by most social scientists. It is more obvious that human culture evolves than that organic creatures evolve, since we can more easily see the process happening in real time in our lifetimes. However, by most kinds of reckoning, the study of cultural evolution is over a hundred years behind the study of organic evolution. Many blame Darwin for the eugenic sterilization programs of Sweden, Germany, the United States and other countries. Memetics potentially holds some more serious problems for civilization. Memetic engineering is vastly more powerful and dangerous than genetic engineering and has the potential to turn us all into meme addicts. There's already a field of military memetics which studies propaganda, resisting propaganda, brainwashing, manipulating public opinion and other fun things. Memetic algorithms could ultimately go on to produce machine intelligence and once the machines are smarter than the humans, our days as masters of the planet may well be numbered. Paul McFedries recently wrote, Richard Dawkins became famous in the 1970s for his concept of the selfish gene, and he has become infamous in recent years for his unyielding atheism, but I predict that Dawkins will be known in a hundred years hence, not for these contributions to science and culture, but for the concept of the meme. Please feel free to spread that idea around. Well, okay then, Paul, since you are so nicely, citing my work and all, I will. I too think that memetics is Dawkins' dangerous idea, the evolution of culture is really the biggest and most important idea in the selfish gene. Of course, some might object to attributing the idea to Dawkins, since we have Darwin saying, the survival of or preservation of certain favoured words in the struggle for existence is natural selection. So the idea really dates back at least to Darwin, but Dawkins is likely to get credit for the terminology, and language shapes thought, so people are likely to continue to associate memetics with Richard Dawkins, so it seems likely that it will be Dawkins' dangerous idea. Enjoy.